Okay, welcome to today's series. I'll be talking about uh, currency pairs. So in currency pairs, we have what we call Aero USD. We have deep, uh, different uh, currency pairs. We have Aero USD. Almost all the currency pairs in the world. All right. You can actually compare USD against NGN. That is a uh, Nigerian currency. Or you can actually compare arrow against what USD uh, cable against USD depending on your on your country or depend on the uh, type of currency pair that you want to what, trade or you want to what master right so these are what currency pairs that we have so these are the currency that we have we have arrow USD GPP USD USD card AUD USD so we have many uh, other currency pairs you can actually look at within your MT4 interface. All right. So these are the major these are the major pairs that we have. All right. We have minor and we have majors. You can actually trade on any of them. All right. You can actually what trade on any of them. So here, you understand that euro is what a currency, USD is a currency, GPP, US, uh, GPP is what a currency, USD is a currency, USD card, USD here is a currency, card here is a currency, AUD here is a currency which is Aussie, USD is also what a currency. So we are pairing them together. That means two pairs, two. So because we are pairing them together, that's why you can actually trade them. So if it's only one, we can't actually trade it only one. So it must be two before you can actually trade it. All right. We have Japanese yen, uh, 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 US, uh, USD Jeff, that is a CHF. We have um, um, many other currencies of different countries. All right. So you can actually pay them together before you can actually trade them on through what a broker on your what mt4 or on your trading view on any platform that you use for what trading so but majorly i use the two platform mt4 and what trading view so i will be explaining little thing about what mt4 here also on the trading view but I won't be going any detail on this trading view. So majorly because why I use it majorly for what analysis. Why I use MT4 to please my trade and all. So here we have your MT, uh, MT4 and everything about it. So we have a order. This is what the pair I want to what open. New Zealand against USD. New Zealand what dollar against what us dollar so the type is what instant execution this means you are trying to open order that means when you are trying to open order means you are trying to place trade at that particular point instant execution you are trying to place trade at that particular level so we have different type of it we have pending order and we have what instant execution so this instant execution is you are trying to buy at that particular moment so in pending order, if we enter this pending order, we have what we call buy limit. So buy limit means you are placing an order at lower prices or at lower level to expect market to sell into that level before you would it will allow it, or before market would activate your order and would go long. All right, that is what we call buy limit. Same thing with what opposite of what uh buy limit is what our sell limit you're expecting market to what go long to a particular level and activate your what order then and go what short into your into your favor which is what profit all right we have what we call buy stop now you know that market is buying you didn't join on time so you know a very level the market will reach to and it will continue buying so you place what a buy stop at that particular level. So when market get to that level, it will activate your order and continue 
buying until what it get to what you take profit so we have what called sell stop so when market is selling and you know that if you continue selling you place what a limit at that what level and allow market to trade into that level and activate order and continue what in your favor that's what we call what sell stop we have what we call buy stop limit and sell stop limit i will explain this to you later but uh, i don't use them much so these are the two the ones that i use immediately instant execution that's what the one that i use mostly so we have what we call the volume we have what your stop loss this is what this volume i will explain it better with time all right we have what your stop loss this is if you are what taking a long and you don't want market to what to clear your account or you don't want market to what go beyond your expectation so you set what a stop loss level so when whenever market get to this what your stop loss level it will what it will take you out of the market to avoid what more losses so that's what we call what stop loss to avoid more losses so you know a level that if market would validate this level that means this thing will not buy more or it will not sell more again so you set what a stop loss so if you are buying you set what a stop loss below if you are selling you set a stop loss above so this is how you what you set your what your stop loss so we have what a take profit a particular level that you expect market to reach for your trade to close so you set what a take profit at that area or you can also use what instant execution that means you you closing it manually so this is like market will get to that level it will close automatically for you all right so when market get to this level if you are buying you set what a tp level above or at the area you're expecting in the upside if you are selling you set what a tp level below or at the area you are expecting the market to what to stop buying to stop selling all right so that is these are the levels that we have and we have what we call lot size before i will explain what we call lot size i will explain what we call a pips so this is all about mt4 so we'll be explaining more about what a pips and what lot size for you in our next session so here we have what we call trading view so this is a vast app that has what many features it has many features more than what mt4 so you can do analysis here do any type of drawing that you want on this platform all right so you can actually learn more about trading view uh, from other channel that teach basically on trading view and understanding trading view so this is all for today's session so good luck